First of all, Ryan, what went into the decision to have uh, Dustin as your starter tonight? Uh, we have a little bit of the flu bug going through. It was supposed to be Vladdy, but Vladdy was not well yesterday. So. What did you see on the go-ahead goal? You obviously saw enough that you thought that should come back. What did you? Well, I mean, we talked about before um, our last game, we, the guys in the room have a lot of different views. and. Um, Really, we didn't feel there was a push on our part for him to go into the goalie. So that's why we challenged. Yeah. I know it's never as simple as, the, as this, and I'm not trying to say it's why you lost, but it did, did it just feel like the bounces weren't fully going your guys' way? Uh, yeah, well, no, it's not why we lost, but tonight was one of those nights where there were a few weird ones, that's for sure. We hit a few crossbars um, tonight. We missed some chances, and at the end of the day, um, those are the opportunities on our part. We have to find a way to put away at key moments of the game early in the second period. Uh, we had a great first period. We need to score early in that second period to um, put them on their heels a little bit more. So those are opportunities that we let get away from us tonight. Coleman actually said that's what frustrated him about the game was he felt like you guys could have put it away early yeah. and didn't. We had chances for sure to do that. But um, when you let a good team hang around, one or two mistakes like we made on a couple of their goals, um, they end up biting you. What did you think of Coronado's play today? I thought he was. He had some some chances with the puck. He also gave some pucks up tonight. So I thought I thought he was okay tonight. When did the concern set in? Maybe in the second period that, 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 that you didn't have the same whatever as he had in the first period. You didn't have the same jam. Uh, well, we lost. I, I thought we lost our speed through the middle of the ice, which made us successful in the first period. So that um, I think you can. Um, put on maybe the decisions that we were making. We gave the puck back to them a little bit too much in the in the second period. First period, we moved the puck really well, and we did a good job of keeping it away from their defensemen. And when they had that the puck, we put them under some pretty good pressure, but we got away from that a little bit in the second period. When, when that part of your game gets away, is there a way during the game to get it back, or is it one of those things that's hard to really get back in the bottle once you lost it? Well, there's two teams. Like they're, They did some things better in the second and third period as well, without a doubt. Um, but you just keep reminding your guys of why they had success in the first period. So that's kind of hockey sometimes. Anything different going to getting the start you wanted tonight rather than the games we've talked about lately? No, it's funny. You know, we, we prepare them the same way, and, and more often than not, they prepare themselves uh, the proper way too. Um, tonight, I really liked our energy that we had in the first period, and I thought we um, we put them on our, on their heels, which is something that we want to do. We just we have to find a way to do that consistently. But there was nothing really different in regards to how we prepared them. What did you think of Coronado tonight? Uh, I mentioned earlier. Oh, yeah. I was gonna uh, with Dustin Wolf's game. Is that a tough one when one goes off, well, two go off, beat that go into the net? How, what is your sense of Dustin's game? I thought he played well tonight. He made a young mistake on the the one puck handle, the last goal. Um, you know, and unfortunately, whether it hits a foot or a stick on the way to the net, uh, those things happen. But I thought he played well for us tonight, it or this afternoon. It did, it, did, it did seem like maybe the, the Coleman line was fighting it a little bit. Turn, yep. turn pucks, or how do you see there? I agree. The pu you know, I hate the term puck luck because you're earning your breaks in yep. life, but. Uh, it did seem like there were some pretty bad bounces that went against you tonight. There, there were some funny ones. I would agree with you there. But again, you know, you got to find a way to make good on your opportunities. And, and when you have something that goes against you, you want to make sure you're backing your teammate up so uh, it doesn't end up in the back of our net. You guys finish this home what do, Sorry, what does it do to a bench when, when a player misses an open net? Uh, it happens. It's part of the game. I mean, they they kind of ride the wave of emotion like all of us do. You think it's going in, and then it, it doesn't end up going in. So they're probably thinking like the coaches were, how did it not go in? Um, but it's part of the game, and they're, they've all been around that before. You guys finished the homestand 3-3. Three and three. Yep. Just generally, what what's your perception of, of these last six games? Um, a little bit up and down, I guess, like you, you could see from the record. Yeah.